This is a story about the speed of life. Cells are the living units of all organisms with processes that continually interact. To study the cellular environment, we must capture their live state. Only by characterizing the function of the molecules can we learn about and understand cellular systems. That is why imaging needs to be fast, but it also needs a special extra something that opens the door to imaging of the live state of cells. And that's exactly what TauSense does. To show you this, we will use vesicle trafficking as an example. With TauSense, you're able to image the functional states of endosome maturation in this cell. But how is this possible? How can the live cellular processes be read from a single channel? Let's take a closer look. To begin with, we labeled cells with a near-infrared membrane fluorescence probe. Fast vesicle movements can be seen here, captured with our Stellaris confocal at one volume every 1.8 seconds. With Stellaris, you can detect and measure photon counts, that is, the intensity, to track the location of vesicles, watch them come closer, even fuse. But that's it. It doesn't tell us much about the functional state of the vesicles. For that, you need a slightly more special set of tools. This is where the new features of Stellaris come in. With TauSense, you can capture lifetime-based information. And we want to do that because with lifetime, we can sense environmental changes, and that can give us access to functional information. One of the hallmarks of endosome maturation from the cytosol to early, then late endosomes, and then to lysosomes, is the change in pH from 7 to 4. This pH change is the functional readout of the maturation of endosomes, which we need to characterize the process. And here we go. The NIR probe fluorescence lifetime signal changes with pH, and with tau sense, using the tau contrast tool, you can perform lifetime-based measurements and track the maturation of endosomes, and this information comes combined with the fluorescence intensity, as mentioned, measured as photon counts. Tau contrast gives you first-hand information about the functional state of the cell. And we can do more. Using a second special tool called tau separation, we can interpret the lifetime-derived information in more detail and we can generate different channels according to the different response that the probe senses from the different pH. This can then be translated into the different maturation steps. Here is how this mapping of the lifetime dimension looks like with this extra layer of detail. We can then overlay the channels, and we now see the vesicles in different colors, which correspond to different functional states. And if we go again to the zoom-in region, we now can see the vesicles in different states traveling and fusing. We already had the speed to follow the process, and now we added the insight into the functional state thanks to these special tools. And as a bonus, we used an NIR label, so this means we have the standard spectral window free to choose other labels relevant to the application we are investigating. Tau contrast and tau separation are part of our new TauSense technology in our Stellaris confocals. You can find more information on TauSense on our application note.